Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um uh, who we got over here man? Look, 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 look. We got we got Ray J speaking on Diddy man. We got uh, we, look, young Miami man. They, they don't find it. They don't finally gave her the papers man. You know what I'm saying? We we gonna talk about that man. Um uh, yeah yeah, she gonna be in court. We got Cardi B on deck. Um uh, we got Diddy with a response finally man. Um who else we have over here man? We had we had something else. Kanye on on Diddy again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this first time to the channel man be sure to hit that like button if you're any part of the content we definitely appreciate that that notification bell is waiting for your test go on and give it a tap and the subscribe button is waiting for your subscription man so go on and touch that too yo check this out man apparently um a little duval has posted that he ain't gonna be able to support meek mill much longer man if he keep doing stuff like this take a look Wait, get up get up you got this shit get up Knock rock out. Get up, rock. Get up. Situate him. Hey, rock. Kill him, rock. Kill him. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, folks is in the comments like yo, he ain't never beating them allegations. <laughs> I'm like, yo, why y'all, why y'all, why y'all be doing this to me for, man? You know what I'm saying? The man can't live. It's like if he washed the handle of a pan or a pot, y'all gonna say he like, you know what I'm saying? Like he on like he a diddler. You know what I mean? Like he be playing with the diddle. Anyway, look, 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 never mind all that. Listen, man. Um with all this crate with this diddy news, right? Since the raid and whatnot, the um the idea that folks like Ye, the artist formerly known as Kanye, have been uh, relatively vocal about the diddler's practices is 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 kind of sort of interesting, man. Like whenever he speaks on the diddler, you feel like you kind of sort of walked in on the tail end of a discussion that bro was having for the last two hours, man. Take a listen to what Kanye had to say concerning the diddler when he was on uh, Drink Champ. Take a listen real quick. Poison me, and by the way, Y'all done already fuck with me so much. Y'all already black mirrored me. You already made everybody think I'm crazy. You already took my family away. You already separated all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends. Because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is. And the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public. And I didn't have the address of my child. None of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address though? Travis gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't give a fuck who, because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta come at me, cause part of the deal for you to be a do all that da, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you gonna go pull my co-car. Co -car. So y'all niggas shut the fuck up about me. Now let me say it calm. You niggas shut the fuck up about, <laughs> you shut the fuck up about Michael. Right. Hey, yo, his, his was crazy about what he said, man. Ye tends to be ahead of his time. So it's very possible that although that was an old clip, Ye might have been speaking that from the future. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Which I better be wrong, but Ye's name <laughs> would pop up like in the future. You know what I'm saying? Like it better not. Cause in my opinion, I don't think Ye's with the ish. Okay. Ye ain't killed nobody. So we got that uh, uh we, we got that clip on Ye saying that he ain't killed nobody. By someone you love and said clearly that his mom was sacrificed. Mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Nah. You appreciate Michael you. Jordan. What about him? His dad, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You know, out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to, you know what I'm saying? And, and this truth is going to be heard. Y'all can't send none of y'all meat mills, y'all puppies, y'all little booty, none of these names, none of these people. I have to listen to y'all because I never killed nobody, right? I'm the pussy that never took nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. Uh, look, 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 look. That man, that man said I don't got nobodies. <laughs> you can't say that. You can't say that. I don't got nobodies. You can't say that. I said, damn. Look, here's the thing. If we know about situations that involve two people in a room having carnal knowledge with each other, people can't hold in full on bodies dropping around them. You see what I'm saying, man? Like you can't hold in when people get murked. 
Okay? They got, like, you got to talk. Because spilt blood cries out from the earth. Okay? Spilt blood screams at a murderer's conscience. That's why they can't contain it. They got to talk about it. They talk about it in their lyrics. They talk about it to their friends. They make these little subtle references and stuff like that. There's no peace until there's justice. You follow what I'm saying? Now, um, uh, that's what Ye had to say concerning uh, the, the diddler. But um, TMZ done stopped Ray J dead in his tracks and asked him, what's up with his boy Puff? And, and where the Cuff Puff's friends is at? And Ray J had this to say, take a listen. You know, as, as, a, as the boss of, of the network, like, you change the game. Um, you know, it's, 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 when you start these businesses, it takes a lot of, like, get this thing up and running. So it's a five-year, ten-year process, so, you know, we're ready for the hard work that gotta, they gotta be put into it. For example, like, did you get tired of, like, the way those, the, the networks, the reality networks that currently kind of run things were operating? Nah, it's, what's crazy is that we got the new network, we're still in business with Viacom, we love AMC, we love Blue TV, we, we, BT is family, VH1 is family, we see what we did with Zeus, new network, I mean, it's all, it's, it all goes hand in hand, you know what I'm saying? No, we got... We got some really some Yo, look, that man said Gagency. I said, oh my gosh. I get like, you know what I'm saying? He, like, he's trying to do, if he's trying to do a trans thing, then I guess, you know what I'm saying? A Gagency wouldn't be too far off, I guess, right? Look, a lot of folks say he was taking one too many pulls off that stoke. Uh, like, like almost as if he was nervous. But think about it, though. If Ray J was with the shenanigans, like with the Diddy said, if Ray J was with the shenanigans in question, you think he would have gave TMZ three full minutes unrushed? That man was as calm as a Hindu cow, man. To me, he looked like, yeah, I was at some of them parties, but I wasn't at them parties. You see what I'm saying? Like, I was at the parties, but I wasn't at them parties. I think the trick is this, man. A lot of the celebrities seem to know about what went down, but don't nobody want to be the person to speak on it. Except Orlando Brown, who went ballistic because we got to pay for grapes. Remember this? Why does not... America look like Dubai and Germany and why doesn't America look like Russia and Persia and where the f is the money going? Every single mayor needs to figure out what the f they want to do before I f There should be grapes, turnips, vegetables, everything on the streets every f day for the homeless to eat. You're making us pay for water, you son of a... You're making us pay for grapes, apples, things that God gave us for free. Ha! Ha! Da, 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 you will burn in hell when I'm through with you. You will not be allowed in my father's house at all. At all. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo! That man's gonna be a delight to see in heaven. <laughs> you like, you like your celeb. If we see Orlando Brown in heaven. We in hell. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Look, God picks the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. All right. Look, that man broke it. Look, that man broke into a tongue. Whenever I start tripping on folks from now on, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that to my supervisor. When they tell me about a surprise meeting, I'm be like, what you mean I got a meeting at 3:45? You look, you making me pay for grapes, you son of a itch. My supervisor gonna be like, look, I, we just trying to we just trying to cover what should be on the lesson plans. Look, meanwhile, right, Diddy posted a video on the gram, okay? The video was uh, the video Victory, okay? He posted the Victory video on the gram. You know, the video with Danny DeVito talk about, uh, talk about and still running. That's what Danny DeVito said. Danny DeVito said, and still running. I said, gosh, this is really, you know what I'm Why would Diddy post this video? If I remember correctly, right? Danny DeVito was on Chase TV talking about contestant number five. And, and in the video, Diddy gets a text message that says, get out. Next thing you know, the man is on a run, okay? He grabs a flat jacket, a vibrator, puts on his shoes, and he dips, okay? Helicopters is overhead, trucks are behind him, blowing up while Biggie's saying, the feds hate me, okay? He running down dark alleys, limitless stamina. The joint looked like, like, like if the running man was filmed in Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, Buster Rhymes on a statue covered in feathers. They telling the president, look, Mr. President, you got to see this. Diddy's doing it again. President's like, well, look, look, what's the matter with that guy? Then Diddy start start hopping from rooftop to rooftop while he's being chased seemingly by HSI. 
It was so cringy to me. And and at the bottom of the video, P Puffy posts, bad boy for life. <laughs> I'm over here like, bro, ain't that what got you in the situation to begin with? Bad boy for life? We still running with this narrative. The whole, the, what's one of the last songs he dropped? Act bad, act bad, act bad, act bad, act bad, act bad. Now they catching you for, for trafficking. Are you going to still sing the song? Act bad, act bad. They catch you now. You got trafficking charges. Uh, what, what's my top looking like? Let me see what, what my top is looking like. All right, look, look, look. yeah, yeah. We got a short video for that. Listen, man. Um, let me go to my shout outs real quick. Okay, we, we got, we got. I got one shout out for today. Well, actually, I got two. All right. First and foremost, um, I want to give a lovely shout out to uh, Party over here. I love Party over here, man. She always holding us down, man. Coming through. Party over here uh, made a very interesting statement. What she said? I had it over here in a second. She said all the world. She said celeb because I said the other day this whole world is a circus. She said celeb, all the world is a circus. All the world is a circus, bro. I felt that. I said I felt that Party over here, Danielle Party. Yo, Zan, Party. Okay. I never can say it right. Party. I, I said Party. She was like, No, it's Party. Like party over here. And speaking about party, you know who needs a party? You know who needs a party? I'm gonna tell you right now who needs a party. Uh Chris and Cornell. Yo, these two twins right look, these they're not two twins, but these twins right here, they need a party because today is their birthday. That's right. April 7th is the birthday for Chris and Cornell. Uh these these uh two gentlemen right here are the children of um uh, Chris LaBelle, who, who runs Crystal Locks Hair Studio, man, you know what I'm saying, in Jacksonville, Florida, you ladies that want to look all pretty and whatnot, y'all can go right over there, I got the, hopefully we got the number showing you right here, you know what I'm saying, 904-982-1312, let me tell you something right now, okay, these young men are celebrating their birthday, they, uh, they just turned, I believe it's nine, nine years old, man, you know what I'm saying, they, look, they done turned nine years old, and apparently, they, they, they are in the background overhearing Celeb Sauce. Fellas, I apologize, real talk. Sometimes we be we be acting out a little bit, man. But look, man, happy birthday to y'all, man. I hope y'all got a good birthday, man. Real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope all your friends, I hope you see all the people that you love to see. You know what I'm saying? Today. I hope you I hope you had a good day today. Okay? And and you know what? I want you to I want you to be glad that you're not an adult yet. Cause when you when you become an adult, you're gonna see the the insanity. Like we're living in a circus and so y'all don't know it yet. But you're gonna see. You know what I mean? Look, um, Look, mom, mommy don't even need to bring you to the circus. You know, all she gotta do is bring you to Instagram. If you if you go to Instagram, you went to the circus. Okay, Chris and Cornell, you never need to go to the circus again. Just step outside and then grab your phone and look at Instagram, and it's nothing but circ. I'm not gonna even say it. It's nothing but a circus. Um, <laughs> uh, listen, listen, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Hey, yo, happy birthday. I hope y'all enjoy your day. Real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, look, look, let's get right back to a rap this bad boy. Let's get right back to a rap this bad boy up, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice day outside where I'm at. I need to go outside. Um, uh, listen, listen, listen. Um, <laughs> you know, you know how we be saying, um, if you get under the dark cloud of someone, that that like you know how some people have dark clouds that follow them right and if you get under the dark cloud that follow some people you're gonna have to deal with day storms well <laughs> you foul you know why you foul because you ain't never told young miami that she's under tropical storm alert you follow what i'm saying apparently they done served young miami court papers while she was living it up in houston take a look dog asked me to serve young miami with this lawsuit my nigga charlie c so about to do it. Bro, my nigga Charlie C actually served Young Miami with this lawsuit. She's supposed to be in this club tonight. She got down, I'm about to do it. It's a bad bitch birthday. Her, her birthday Hello. is next week. So Hello. shout out to all the bitches whose birthday is next Absolutely. week. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Young Miami. Yes. Let me get this to you. What is this? What did you just say? So my homeboy Charlie C, you've been served. Okay. Hey, yo, that dude served her like, period. You know what I'm saying? Look, why he recorded that joint? I mean, I, like, come on, bro. Like, you, you at work. You ain't supposed to, like, this is... At this point, it's, it's starting to look like a little bit of clout. Now, um, she said that the whole joint was over, like, some merchandise or something like that that she ain't even selling and whatnot. Uh, let me, wait, let me see. Let me go to it. Because didn't I have it? I had it here. Okay. So, the dude said... Um, so my bro Charlie C asked me to serve Young Miami uh, uh, papers um, 
with these papers because he heard she was going to be in Houston. The suit over Diddy making money off his brand and label and not paying him. Of course, I slid because why the cuff not? So he served young Miami, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, the, so that's, I mean, you know, um, look, academics say this, we don't think this is freak off related, but, you know. I mean, you stand next to the man on fire, you bound to get burned. You let the man on fire crash on your couch and your house is going up in flames. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so so they ain't serve her for what you thought that they, they were going to serve her with. But she was trending for a sec for a clip that 50 Cent posted when she said out her own face, the unthinkable. I want you to take a look. I just had a conversation with somebody that I said, I'm really like, I'm more like with a, with a W, like I'm on. But define that, though. Like, I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> mm, 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 mm. And in the, in, the, in the bottom, it said whore. It had the definition. Dictionary definition of whore? A prostitute. Straight up, she said, uh, I'm a whore with a W. With a W? You mean like a prostitute? Uh, 50 Cent added, he said, it's okay to be a whore. Just make sure you're being overpaid. See a sucker, catch a sucker, suck a sucker dry. You go, girl. LSW, LOL, close quote. <laughs> Look, he's talking like she giving off little sex worker vibes. I said, come on, man, this is wrong. Now, she did respond, okay? She said something along the lines of, this is what she said, because she saw, I guess you might have seen the trend or whatever. She said, I think this got taken out of context. Did it? She said, it's a gay slur. I don't think that's what you meant to say. I don't think you meant to say it's a gay slur. She said, it's a gay slur. What's up, whore? It's something my gay cousin always said to me. It's cunt. It's a slang that we said to each other. That's what I was trying to explain to Jason because he's gay and he got what I was trying to say. I'm not a prostitute. You mean like what the word whore means? She said, I never sold cat a day in my life. That's what my, you know, you know, you know, what my mama, my mama said, you like, Celeste, please don't say what I think you're gonna say. No, 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 she didn't say that. She, she told me once, I never lied a day in my life, okay? Uh, you got some nerve thinking I was gonna say the unthinkable. Look, look, that would be crazy because I kind of grew up a little broke, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, ma, you, how the hell you was? I, I don't got, we was broke, I had government cheese at one point. Listen, man, uh, she said, I'm not a prostitute. I never sold cat a day in my life. And I hate how this is getting spun. It's getting spun based on the English language. The English language says the word war, right? W-H-O-R-E means is derogatory and it means a prostitute. And a prostitute is a woman that gets paid for sexual services. All the women that get paid can I even, I don't even know if it just is only um, women. I, I think, I wouldn't be surprised if men is are under the umbrella too. If you, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna include men in there too. Men, you a whoremonger too, because yeah, 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 yeah. The scriptures talk about whoremongers. It ain't just talk about women. It's talk about men too, but, but it's talk about people that just, just practice fornication. But I'm just saying though, okay? If you get paid for your sexual services, then according to the dictionary definition, not me, the dictionary defamation, defamation, de defamation. <sighs> ah, look, it's not me, man. She said it. She said it, but she said I didn't mean it like that. So whatever. I guess. Uh, okay, so let me throw it out here like this. Let me be. Let me be good. Let me be good. If you are clowning around with your um, cousin and you say, "Ha, ha you freaking prostitute!" Ha, ha, that doesn't necessarily mean you're actually saying your cousin is a prostitute. Y'all might, just, that just might could be y'all speech between each other. And she took speech that she has between her and her cousin and brought it out to Jason Lee in front of the world. And everybody was like, whoa, you used the word that the dictionary definition says prostitute. And she said, no, that's not how I mean it. It's getting spun out of context. Even though she said something about a 250 thousand dollar allowance we're gonna act like we didn't like that part didn't happen either okay um let me just say as clear as day here when young miami called herself a whore she did not mean that she was a whore you know what i'm saying she did not mean it like that she was just saying it another way okay didn't i just do a story about when people say uh oh, oh yeah because when lizzo said i quit she didn't mean i quit she meant i quit you know what i mean like come on now like what's the confusion uh, and finally, let me get, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here, okay? 
You're like, jokes on you, celeb. There's no exits to the circus. Yeah, apparently the circus has no exits. I, look, <laughs> the circus has no exits. Cardi B has dropped her Invasion of Privacy album uh, a, a few years ago. And the joint won her all kinds of awards, man. Yeah, so much so, she experienced a form of um, performance paralysis. Okay? Performance paralysis. You're like, wait, is that is that sexual? No, 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 I'm, I'm saying performance paralysis as in to say she didn't want to create, like, drop another. Because remember, she said she didn't want to release a second album because the first album did so well, she felt like she couldn't top the results of the first album so she didn't want to drop a second one it's not like what happens with you you know what i mean like you know what i'm saying um due to your addiction listen 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 um i honestly i can't really blame cardi for even feeling that way real talk like because i can see how you know what i mean like if i if i do a video if i do a video the joint got a hundred a hundred thousand views right there's a part of me that don't want to drop another video because I'm like, oh, I know the next video ain't going to be no 100,000 video. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, hit us with a like. You know what I mean? Hit us with a like because I'm experiencing performance paralysis right now, but I just got to keep going. I got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? I, look, I, look, I use my hands if I got to. If I look, if I experience performance paralysis, I use my hand and hey, yeah, I look, look. You know what I'm saying? I use, I, I'll use whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, I'll get it going. Something's going to work here. <laughs> Uh, uh, where, where we at? Oh, we almost forgot. Oh, oh, Cardi B, my bad. Okay, look. Um, uh, Cardi B's first album was killer. You know what I'm saying? In terms of the numbers that it did. All right. Um, let me see what it, what it is. Okay, it was number one on Billboard Hot 200 with 255,000 units sold in the first week. Okay. 2019 Grammy for Best Rap Album with six nominations. 2019 BET Album of the Year, Invasion of Privacy is the first album by a female artist to have all of his tracks certified platinum or higher by the RIAA. She, she, uh, first female rap album to have every track chart on the Hot 100. Okay, um, That joint went four times platinum. Bodak Yellow went 11 times platinum. I Like It with Bad Bunny and J Balvin. 11 times platinum. Body Air Cardi, 21 set, four times platinum. Ring with Kaylani. Three times platinum. One of my favorite Cardi B songs, Be Careful, went four times platinum. Um, actually, Drip might be also one of my favorites too, right? And Bodak Yellow. Yellow. Uh, look, the joint, like, her, her album was just crazy. It was just crazy, okay? So, so, um, he, here's the thing. Because of how successful that album was for her, she experienced performance paralysis when it comes to dropping her second album, okay? First albums for all artists who had their whole lives to make them tend to be an artist's best album, all right? And maybe because the artist is new, I don't know. But just for the, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that tends to happen. Now, Cardi B posted this. She said, um, six years ago, I released my first album and it broke so many records. Golly. I said, yo, I'll be saying that too, Cardi. Let me find out Cardi B be listening to Celeb Source. Cardi, um... You know, uh, I love your personality. Let me just throw that out there, okay? And let me stop right there. She said, six years later, I'm prepared to drop the next one this year. Uh, she said, it's so different from what everyone is expecting, and I'm so excited. Love you guys, and I thank you for the support. I'll talk to you soon. I've been so busy these last few days. Close quote. Please, little boy, don't jump out the window. My next door neighbor, little baby, is leaning out the freaking window. And if he drops, this video is going to have to cut short because I, I like the little kid. You know what I'm saying? He cool. Oh, he keep leaning out there. Please pull him back in and close the damn window. I'm about to go tell I'm about to go tell my, my boy, like, yo, man. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> little, little man was hanging out the window, bro. He, he about to throw it all away. He, he all of three years old. Anyway, my bad. Um... So there you have it, okay? Cardi B's next album is going to be dropping any second now. I f look, I find it interesting when Cardi mentioned how she was nervous to drop the second album because she knew she couldn't top the hype of the first album. But trying to top the first, ca like, Cardi shouldn't be the objective. Real talk, man. The objective should be doing what you love and even exploring or experimenting with different sounds more than trying to top your previous numbers, man. Because that first album was backed, right, by fan anticipation, because they don't know what you're like. And they don't know what your music is going to be like. And it was backed with folks being eager to hear a new artist. All right. And it was backed with novelty. When something is backed with novelty. Think about it, man. That's what makes. That's what makes like, you know how like, like 
them videos that you watch at two in the morning that's what makes those videos so um addictive because of the novelty you're seeing so many new images and stuff like that and actually what that does is it trains your brain to be addicted to novelty this is why a lot of us are addicted to instagram this is why we're addicted to tiktok and social media because we're constantly being exposed to something new so we keep scrolling because you want to be um exposed to more novelty you see what i'm saying so the same thing is happening with music all right the objective should be just doing what you love man you know what i'm saying because you ain't gonna be able to top the novelty of the first album okay look 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 Look, you, you don't have novelty the second album. She does have a dedicated fan base, but hopefully she read the room and isn't trying to replicate or do the same old, same old. You know what I mean? The pattern for the greats is an evolution of sound. And as much as I can't stand him, you probably know who I'm talking about. And, you know what I mean? Dude that got, that I swear, who has click farms, okay? Um, what's his name? He evolves his sound all the time. Like, this is why he could drop a damn album damn near almost every year, okay? Um, and Cardi B is good with fan engagement on social media. Cardi, she got that down. I'll never forget when Dave Chappelle was on SNL and he cracked a joke and it didn't go over well. He was like, ah, you know what? I'm just trying them out on Saturday Night Live where folks are trying to get their big break. He's trying. Dave Chappelle was trying jokes out, experimenting with the joints. If it's different, right? And it's hot, try it. You know what I'm saying? You look, look, look. You, you might be like, yo, she got a lot to lose. Hey, look, if she got a dedicated fan base, she could drop absolute trash and the base trash and the base is going to rock with it. Think of all the garbage you was already subjected to that. That is constantly planned. You know what I mean? We tired of hearing about women popping their coochies anyway, man. You know what I'm saying? I, look, I told you I like that Cardi B Be Careful song because the joint felt real. You know what I mean? There's something visceral about the joint. Anyway, you let us know your thoughts in the comments below. man. Did Ray J play it cool when he was answering the question about Diddy? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Brandy, I'd love to know what you think about that because I know you'd be listening. <laughs> um, uh, what do you think about uh, uh, Young Miami getting served, man? Is it the end for her? Is that the only thing she's going to be in court for? What you think about that? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. To, uh, so I'm about to eat these gummy bears, man. you like, what kind of gummy? The horrible ones, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't do the, the edible stuff because I tried that one time and it had me on my behind. I don't like the edibles. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.